I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. That's right, today's video is all about that tasty treat, ice cream. I'm gonna show you how I work and style ice cream. I'll even show you some fake ice cream ideas for you. So if you're into ice cream, like I'm into ice cream, then stick around. This will be a tasty one. Ah, ice cream, that wonderful treat that I absolutely adore. Now check out this photo. Are those scoops real? Are they fake? Is one real, one fake? I'll let you know at the end, so stick around to find out for sure. Now, when we're dealing with food in advertising, the food needs to be real. You can't fake the food for advertising because it is false advertising. So if I'm shooting for, say, Hershey's, and I'm not, the ice cream needs to be their ice cream that I'm using. In the background, you can get away with using some of the fakes, but the main subject has to be the real food for that shoot, for advertising. So be aware of that. If you're just creating some stuff for your portfolio, it doesn't matter because you're not using it for commercial purposes. So it doesn't need to be real. I just wanted to put that out there for you. I've said this before in the past. I just wanna make sure that you're aware of it. Ice cream. Now, I mainly shoot with real ice cream versus using fake. And we will talk about fake later on in the video, but right now we're just gonna focus on real ice cream. Now my tips and tricks to working with real ice cream is I put the scoop in the fridge to get it cold because if your ice cream scoop is warm, it'll start melting the ice cream and you get that really wet look to it. Now if that's what you're after, then a warm scoop will work fine. If not, chill that scoop down and it won't melt the ice cream. Now the other thing is don't put your ice cream in a dry ice, super cold freezer because you're never gonna be able to scoop it. I just put it in a standard refrigerator freezer and it keeps it at the right consistency texture for me so it's easy to scoop, but it's still cold enough to hold its shape. Now, if you're going to do a bunch of shots with your ice creams and you need different scoops, you can not prep them ahead of time by simply scooping them, putting them on a cold, metal tray that's been in the freezer, put your scoops on it, put it back in the freezer until you're ready to go. Then when you're ready to use it, you just pull out that tray of cold ice cream and then you can place them on set. Your ice cream will start to melt. You only have a limited amount of time, but the cheaper, lower fat ice creams tend to melt at a slower rate. So you can buy the cheap ice cream to use if you wanna use real in your work. And I mean, I just absolutely love ice cream. Look at the texture in this. Look at that, that scoop on that cone looks absolutely amazing. So that's kind of my tips and tricks for working with real ice cream. There's not much to it other than make sure you've got your set, everything in place, your lighting, everything figured out, tweaked. So you're simply going to put your scoop on the cone, scoop on the plate, scoop in the bowl, whatever, but everything's worked out prior, then put it in, then get your photos. Because if you try and tweak it and play with it, your ice cream is slowly gonna start to melt on you, and then you got problems because you're gonna have to clean all that mess up, start all over again. So prep your set, bring that hero in, the last minute, plunk it in, get those photos. So that's it for real ice cream. All right, now let's talk about fake ice cream. There's a bunch of different ways I've heard you can do it, and there's a few ways that I have done it. So the first one we're gonna look at is with these two ingredients, which is confectioner sugar slash icing sugar and just one of the uh, little tubs of frosting. And you're gonna need two and a half cups, roughly, of the icing sugar to one of those little tubs of the frosting. That's a give and take. It depends on the consistency that you want the frosting. I would probably suggest at putting two cups in, mixing it all up, and then slowly checking and adding the icing sugar to get it to consistency you want. I end up typically around the two and a half to two and three quarters of a cup of the icing sugar to it to get the right consistency and the right look to it. Now, the nice thing is with this type frosting fake ice cream, it's fully moldable, which is really cool. Now, when you go to scoop it, you might look at it and say, well, that doesn't look very real because it doesn't have that barking. And what I mean by barking is that texture on the ice cream, as you saw in that chocolate one, like here, see, how you got that little bit of a texturing going on, you can bring that back and more 
on the frosting. You just simply take a knife, a razor blade, whatever you want, and you just start kind of scraping along the smooth parts of the ice cream to reveal the texture. Here I'm kind of going overboard and really roughing it up, but you can see how it brought that texture out instead of that smooth type look to it. So, now the other thing is real ice cream melts, right? So you get that little bit of cream at the bottom where it's starting to melt a bit. Well, how are you gonna do that with the frosting? Cause it's not going to melt on set on you. You can use milk. And here I'm kind of going overboard again, just to show you by adding some milk. Now I'm using 1%, so it's a little thin. If I used a cream, it would look a lot better and match the coloring and the con thickness and consistency better but it gives you a general idea and look at how I get the little highlights and the wet glistening look to it and I get that little bit of puddling underneath which is kind of what we're after. Now that's fine for vanilla ice cream. What ends if you're doing chocolate ice cream or strawberry ice cream? You can't just use white milk or cream. There is a trick that I've seen a lot of people do and that is taking something like Elmer's white glue, mixing it with some of your frosting, mix it up really well and then you can use it because now you've got a wetter looking frosting that's actually glue. So you can kind of drip it on and that drip will kind of stay there because it's a thicker consistency because it's glue. And along the bottom, you get not only the color that you need from the frosting, but you'll also get that wet look like it's melted a bit. So for your colored frostings, that is a great way to do it. Now, if you only have vanilla frosting, and you want to create a color, then add food coloring. You can make any color ice cream, fake ice cream, that you want. I would advise though using the gel food colorings versus the liquid ones because the liquid ones will start thinning it down and you'd have to compensate it back out by putting more icing sugar in and you're going to start changing the texture if you put too much icing sugar in. So gels are your best bet for that. But yeah, fake ice cream, you can change the color, you can use glue, to make some wet like looks to it, which I think is absolutely awesome. Now, if you're interested to see how this frosting actually looks within a photo, well, here's some vanilla frosting, basically done up, like we said, in some little sundae containers. How does that look? I put a little bit in a scoop on the uh, table there just to add into the composition of it, but I think that looks pretty good. Why don't we up the game even more? Let's add a little bit of pecan on the top. You know, if you watch this channel, I like pecans. So I put a little bit of the crushed pecan on top. What else goes good with ice cream and nuts? How about some caramel sauce? We put in, pump in some Giardelli caramel sauce on that. Look at the way that just runs down. Man, that looks so tempting. Now, look at the finished photo of that. Does that not look like real ice cream? Does that not look delicious? Look how well those photos turned out. Look at that. That works out well, and I got lots of playtime because it's fake ice cream. The last thing I will say on the frosting type method is the frosting will start to dry out over time. So you might have to throw it back in your mixer, remix it back up a bit. But I just want to let you know that it will dry out. It usually takes a couple of hours, but just to be aware that it will dry out over a period of time. But I think those images turned out fantastic using my frosting as ice cream. Hmm. So. What are some other ways that we can create fake ice cream? I've heard of people using mashed potatoes. How about spackle, I think they call it in the States. We call it drywall compound here. You can use it to create fake ice cream. You can actually make a scoop, let it air dry and harden. And now you've got a permanent fake ice cream that you could use multiple ways. I haven't actually played with it. I have seen a bit. It doesn't look the greatest, but I imagine if you're good at artistic type work, you could actually get some permanent ones that looked awesome. The other way I have heard of people using it as more so than frosting in a lot of places, and that is they're using shortening with the confectioner sugar. You can get a really good looking consistency to it. Now the thing with the shortening is it'll stay on set even longer. It won't dry out anywhere near as fast. Now, it is a little harder to make. It is a little harder to get the consistency right. But once you've done it a few times and you play with it, from what I've seen, you can achieve some absolutely phenomenal looks to it. So that's some of the ways that I have done. That is some of the ways I have heard it done. If you know of any other ways of creating fake ice cream, leave it down below. I'd love to find out some other ways and see what kind of creations can be done with it. But yeah, that's it for this video on ice cream, on how I create fake ice cream, 
and the little tips and tricks with real ice cream. So I think those images kind of speak for themselves. Now, if you're wondering about this picture here, which one's real, which one's fake, the one on the left is real, the one on the right is fake. Now, you might have picked it out right away, you may not have. The thing is you have to think about it for a minute, so it's not that obvious the frosting works well. All right, that's it for this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos like this. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. So, until the next time.